When's the last time you've taken a look at your Instagram photos? From two years ago. I bet you haven't. I got a fun little idea for you in today's video. Let's get into it. You know the type of guy that was a jock in high school but ended up becoming a huge nerd? You know, someone that's not afraid to make a fool of themselves on the internet. And someone that likes to shoot Polaroid a little too much. Did I say huge nerd? You know, just an ordinary, everyday guy. Well, that's me. I'm just another Chris. my hair <laughs> whatever let's go with it it's the new year which is a perfect time to make this video because i do something every single year well two three years because i put together something kind of unique and it goes along with my instagram page we make posts on instagram people get to see them for what a day or two and then you move on to the next photo and then the next photo and the next photo i know for me i don't really see some of my older photos that I post on Instagram. So photos just get lost in the mix and then they sit there in a Instagram graveyard. So what I've been doing the last few years is actually this, turning my Instagram into physical media via photo books or zines, if you will. They're just like coffee table books that I can just look at once in a while, share when people come over, or just bring over to family events if they're curious to see what photos that I do because they don't have Instagram. So I started this in 2021, then I made 2022, and then most recently, I've made 2023. I thought it'd be kind of fun to make these kind of like composition notebooks. That's just a personal preference that I did. And uh, I'm sticking to it and it's kind of fun. But inside the books, it's literally just photos that I took that particular year or posted. I should say that particular year. Sometimes I'll post a photo that's a couple years old that I never posted. So they'll end up in that particular year's book. And the best part of this, especially for me in how I manage my Instagram page and how, or my posts for Instagram, the book is pretty much 99.99% made by the end of the year. The pages are already designed. All I do is click, drag and drop into a book and all I do is then order it from there. I have actually done a full in-depth how to make zines over in the Spitfire Club. If you don't know what the Spitfire Club is, it's a members area. There's so much stuff that I won't really go into except for this one particular thing. And that is a monthly Zoom call. Yes, every single first Friday of the month, we meet face to face via a Zoom call. It's pretty fun. Uh, we have guests come on, other creators or like my individuals in the community. We have tutorial videos that I do, which one of them is how to make zines, the website I use, how to Photoshop things, how to build things out, scanning photos. I did one of those in, I believe it was December. Really fun, if you wanna join, there's a link in the description below. But to make these books, I actually use a website called Blurb because you're able to just order one off books and they're not too expensive. I've considered maybe selling some of these. However, the problem with it is uh, they're not on the cheaper end of producing these. Uh, Blurb is great if you're doing smaller books. This is a couple hundred pages and the cost adds up uh, pretty quickly uh, when you wanna make these books, especially in this particular size. This size isn't available in the cheaper book styles. This is a photo book, not a zine. And so the price kind of goes up from there. But it, it will depend upon, again, how many pages you wanna put in and the page qu uh, quality. I believe this was just their standard matte finish, the low end, which is absolutely stunning. Uh, it's like a silky matte, it's great. Another cool thing about doing this is, for me, because my page is dedicated pretty much solely to instant photography, um, my photos get to be blown up. I get to see them in a new way that I have never seen them before, because uh, these are much larger than a Polaroid photo. And yeah, it's really cool to go back and actually see and hold physically a whole library of photos that I did that particular year. It's kind of like a yearbook. Essentially, yeah, basically a yearbook of the photos that I posted. If you're making them for yourself, I would still say it's a pretty inexpensive way to have a physical copy of your Instagram posts. Because when's the last time you've even seen them? Probably since you posted them, it's probably the last time you saw them, right? 
Now there's one thing I will say about Blurb is that they're always running sales. Typically like $20 off photo books, sometimes 20, 30% off your entire order, things like that. So keep an eye out for those sales. And if you're using uh, Google Chrome, I believe it'll work in other web browsers, but if you're not familiar with Honey, not a sponsor, none of this is a sponsorship by the way, none of it. But if you use Honey, uh, it's a web ex uh, extension for at least Chrome, because that's the one I use, it will automatically search for the coupons for you. So I would highly recommend you uh, setting up Honey in your web browser, because it will it'll track those coupons for you. So I don't think I've ever paid full price for these books. If you use Blurb, they have their own software, which is honestly pretty straightforward and easy to use. It's called BookWrite. Um, when you go to their website, you just create an account and you can just download their software. And uh, you can use Photoshop, Illustrator, other softwares to utilize BookWrite as well. Like I designed most of my stuff in Photoshop and then just dropped it in to build out the book. Um, but you can do all of it inside the book builder as well. I just went an extra step for some of these. Now that's typically for some other books that I have done. I should probably specify that. But even with, with, with these, because I do build these out utilizing uh, Photoshop, um, by scanning the photos in, bringing them in, adding that color backdrop. Um, I do that in Photoshop and then I post them to Instagram and I've done a video on how I do that. So at the end of the year, I have all of those uh, posts already made and saved on the computer. So I just take those, drag them, drop them and build out all the pages. And I will be doing this every single year. It's a commitment, but it's pretty fun to have these lined up on a shelf. Now, one of the questions that I do get quite often is how to scan and digitize your photos. I have done videos on this channel that you can watch. Uh, I'll be linking them in the description, but I have done a even thorough, 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 more thorough <laughs> tutorial over in the Spitfire Club during one of our Zoom calls. Um, you can definitely check that out as well. And maybe I'll do a live stream uh, doing a live demonstration of scanning and digitizing photos. I think that'd be pretty fun. So stay tuned for that or consider subscribing if you haven't already. I think everyone should be doing this. Uh, it's a great, cool way to have physical media in a digital world. You're still able to share your photos out to the world and you get a great copy for yourself. Let me know in the comments below if you will be doing this or if you have any better ideas or better services to print your photo books slash zines. Blurb is pretty good. I do really, really, really like them. For those that are interested, I will put up a handful of the these three books up for pre-order. They'll be signed uh, and there'll be a one and done run. If I sell none, then none are made. If I sell one, then you know one is made. Prices will vary on the year because each one of them is uh, a different thickness <laughs> of paper, uh, pages that is, so. But if you're interested, there'll be a link in the description. Check the cutoff date. I don't know when that'll be, uh, but it will be posted in the description. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Now, get out there. Thanks some more.